big upgrades are likely coming to Western Nebraska Regional Airport as increased boardings will be helping secure federal funding for future projects. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in Western Nebraska and Eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, a new fire station at Western Nebraska Regional Airport to house their newly acquired fire truck will likely be built sooner than airport officials anticipated. Airport Director Raul Aguayo told the board that they are moving up the timeline on constructing the fire station based on the size requirements for a truck of the size to be stored. Uh, the FAA is going to require us to put up a, a larger station for that truck. It has to have uh, eight feet of clear space front to back when everything's extended and then the same with the doors. When the doors are fully extended I have to have like eight feet of clear space around the truck plus eight feet above the truck from the highest point in the truck. So. Uh, it's going to be a pretty good sized fire station, but uh, the feds have a minimum requirement for those things. So um, we've moved it up on the schedule because we know that they're going to uh, give us some grief about it next year at our inspection. The airport board will also be looking at plans to expand the size of the airport parking lot sooner than earlier anticipated. Aguayo says anytime you come out there, the parking lot is 65 to 70 percent at capacity. And with casino flights and other heavy load days, he says there is just no parking left. Aguayo said they moved that up to next year's schedule with the FAA, as well as the timeline on construction of the fire station. Well, demand is growing for special courts that serve drug offenders, veterans, and people with mental illnesses, but Nebraska's top judge says state officials don't have the resources needed to address it. Nebraska Supreme Court Chief Justice Mike Hevigan touted the benefits of so-called problem-solving courts Thursday in his annual State of the Judiciary Address to lawmakers. Problem-solving courts are intensive, judge-supervised treatment courts for criminal defendants who would otherwise be incarcerated. Most of Nebraska's problem-solving courts are drug courts, Drug courts include substance abuse treatment, drug testing, job training, support group meetings, and other appropriate rehabilitative efforts, coupled with, with frequent judicial oversight hearings. Hevigan says Nebraska's problem-solving courts served nearly 1,400 people last year, a 247% increase over the last decade. He says many people treated in those courts would otherwise be in prison at a much greater cost to taxpayers. He says the judicial branch recently exhausted its resources allocated for problem-solving courts. He says counties want to establish mental health courts, but the courts can't help because they don't have enough money and judges available. Well, coming up after the break, Bill Boyer will be in with his comprehensive weather forecast. Stick around. KNEB.TV News will be back right after this. At Platte Valley Bank, we understand that you have a busy life, and that means you don't always have time to come to the bank. That's why we offer user-friendly online and mobile banking with features such as iPay, recurring transfers, and mobile deposit. So you can bank how you want, when you want to. Whether you prefer to bank in person, over the phone, or online, Platte Valley Bank makes it easy to take care of your finances. Have you heard the exciting news? Western Nebraska Regional Airport will be offering flights with United Airlines operated by SkyWest beginning January 30th, 2018. What's even better? You'll get to earn and use your United points. Reservations with United are now available, plus all United miles can be earned and redeemed with all flights. While you're at Western Nebraska Regional Airport, grab a bite to eat at the Flight Deck Restaurant, plus Hearst Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. So make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. One of the biggest events of the year. It's the 34th annual KNEB Farm and Ranch Expo, February 8th and 9th at the Scotts Bluff County Fairgrounds in Mitchell. Show hours are 8 to 6 on Friday and 9 to 3 on Saturday. Free admission and free parking, and it all starts with a free breakfast on Friday morning from 8 till 10. For more information, including a complete list of vendors, log on to KNEB.com. The 34th annual KNEB Farm and Ranch Expo in Mitchell, with your trusted voice in agriculture, KNEB. 
Pool together all your money with a friend and invest in two Arby's French dip and Swiss sandwiches for just six dollars. It's the perfect get rich quick on sandwiches scenario. Arby's, we have the meat. This is KNEB.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. Well, good evening. We'll take a look at temperatures tonight that are going to fall into the 30s, but a bigger note, we're going to have some light wintry mix around, I think, as early as maybe 9, 10 o'clock, and then especially in the early overnight hours. Then we'll switch everything over to snow and drop into the 20s. Uh, not a huge snow system coming, but enough that we might accumulate a little light dusting out there. After that wintry mix tonight, light snow tomorrow in the morning. We're going to rebound after a cold day tomorrow. We'll get in to nice temperatures Saturday and Sunday before we bring more temperatures uh, that are colder and precip in here for Monday to start a new work week. 37 yesterday, below normal for the first time in over two weeks uh, for uh, our area. One one hundredth of an inch of precip out of that, just six hundredths for the month and year. So we certainly could use some more moisture. We'll see if we're able to get that. Temperatures here this evening in the 40s, 38 in Laramie, 46 in Denver. We're in the 30s in 20s in central and eastern Nebraska, Norfolk at 27, Valentine just 23 degrees. We're right around that 40 degree mark uh, for most of the southern panhandle. A little colder up around Gordon, it's 37, 44 in Scotts Bluff, 45 right now in Torrington winds. Still out of the east southeast, fairly light. We don't have much in the way of winds to be concerned about. 5 to 10 miles an hour, but it's making it feel a little brisk out there. 36 for a wind chill in Sydney, 27 up in Gordon. Well, we mentioned this a couple of days ago, but we want to pay attention to a total lunar eclipse that's coming Sunday night across the area. The partial eclipse is going to begin about 730. The total eclipse is going to begin right about 941. That is when uh, the total eclipse will begin here. It uh, The maximum eclipse just after 10 o'clock. And then by 1043, that's when the total eclipse ends. And then the partial eclipse will end at 1150 as the moon then returns from the shadow. So we've got a total lunar eclipse coming. That's the good news. The bad news, you may not be able to see it. Yeah, the condition's not looking great here in our area. Uh, in fact, current forecast viewing conditions for Sunday night looking poor across the area. It just is not looking great. We're going to have a pretty decent amount of cloud cover out in front of that next storm system. We do have winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings that have been posted uh, for a large portion of Nebraska, eastern, uh, east of the Panhandle, with the exception of the Panhandle and a little tiny box here in southwest Nebraska, the rest of Nebraska under winter weather advisories. That's for some accumulating snow. We're going to talk about that here in a moment. I think you'll get on the bus tomorrow with a little light snow shower activity. Those should taper off by afternoon, but it's going to stay cloudy tomorrow with highs only in the 30s. So as we take a look at future cast for tonight, there's a little bit of light rain shower activity. May see a little wintry mix with that through the nighttime hours. Winds are going to be coming out of the west uh, to our west and out of the north to our north. It's all going to switch over to the north. Accumulations are going to be light tonight uh, and it may be late tonight before we see any of that precip. Temps are cold. Look at Mullen down to 10-4 tonight in Valentine. That's where that colder air is just off to our east. Dalton at 17, 25 in Harrisburg for tonight. Now tomorrow, we're going to see that system bring the northern westerly winds in, bring a period of snow here across the area, some pretty stout winds at times, and then those will move out by tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. It's going to be a thing of the past. We're not going to be dealing with much after tomorrow morning uh, and some winds possibly again into the early period on Saturday. Now look at the discrepancy in temperatures here. Uh, upper 30s, Wheatland at 38, some low 30s uh, for Scotts Bluff, Sydney. Only 22, though, in Shadron, 25 in Valentine, so colder temperatures there. Right here in the immediate area will be in the 30 to 35 degree range, with the exception of Alliance tomorrow, just at 24. We're right on the edge of that coldest air. Again, it looks it's got, like it's going to be just to our north and east. Total snowfall, what are we looking at? Maybe two to four inches. Lusk over to Shadron. Possibly, uh, this will get us through noontime on Saturday, so this will take us through the entire storm system. Probably most of us an inch or less, maybe one to two in a few isolated areas, but precip looks pretty scant with this storm system. It doesn't look like we're going to pile up much in the way of snow. Again, some slippery conditions are possible with a light wintry mix tonight, 27 the low, 
Tomorrow it's going to be breezy at times, 10 to 20 mile an hour winds, especially when that frontal system comes through. Some snow showers early, I think accumulations less than an inch for most of us, one to two at most. And then it looks like we're going to stay uh, warmer as we get Saturday into Sunday. Highs in the upper 40s and low 50s. Martin Luther King Jr. Day starts out okay, then we bring in more rain and snow by afternoon. We tumble again back into the low 40s and then upper 30s to low 40s is all we're going to be able to get through at least Wednesday and Thursday of next week as colder conditions look to be settling in and at least some chances of unsettled weather. You never know when you'll need an extra French dip in Swiss. It could get lost in the car or eaten by a confused stranger. Stuff happens to sandwiches. That's why Arby's made you two French dip and Swiss sandwiches for just six bucks. For only six dollars, you'll always have a spare French dip and Swiss until you eat it. You'll never have to be afraid. Arby's, we have the meat. Think a utility vehicle should do more than take you places? So does Kubota. That's why our all new sidekick is built to do it all. Climb more. Tow more. Go more. Cross over to more today. Take your Kubota sidekick home with no money down and 0% financing for 36 months. Your local Kubota dealer is Sandberg Ippelman and Gehring. Who is Hydrotex? Hydrotex manufactures and distributes high performance lubricants and fuel improvers. We've been helping customers improve their operations for over 80 years with products made in the USA. We sell directly to customers and cut out the middleman and offer excellent service and value. Our products last longer and work better so that you spend less time maintaining equipment and more time making money. Whether you're in a factory, farm, fleet, or food processing facility, Hydrotex can help you. Visit HydrotexOil.com or call 308-635-8162. The leaves are turning and the temperatures are cooling, so it's time to come harvest the deals at the Vieira Wireless Fall Saving Sale. Right now, get your family high-speed, truly unlimited mobile data for just 35 bucks per line with four lines. Prices have never been lower for unlimited data. Plus, trade in your current phone and get up to $500 off the latest iPhone and Samsung models. Those are incredible savings on the most popular and advanced smartphones. Don't miss out on our fall savings sale. Hurry into Viero today. Welcome back. The Wyoming Department of Corrections says a 24-year-old Torrington inmate died of an apparent suicide. John Manuel Garcia, an inmate at the Wyoming Medium Correctional Facility, died after paramedics took him to a hospital early Wednesday. Investigators have not said how he killed himself. Garcia was sentenced in Carbon County on September 24th to three to five years in prison following a conviction of felony property destruction. An autopsy has been ordered. Well, two familiar faces have announced they will be parting ways with Western Nebraska Community College. Kristen Wiebe has resigned as the WNCC Foundation's major gifts and planned giving officer, but will remain in the position on a part-time capacity through September. Additionally, WNCC Alumni Relations Director Jennifer Seibel will be leaving her post on January 21st. She'll be taking a new position elsewhere in the community, but a formal announcement has yet to be made. And Nebraska Rural Radio Association General Manager Craig Larson has announced that Bill Boyer has been named as the station manager here at KNEB. A longtime radio broadcaster, Boyer has been operations manager at the station for the past seven years. Boyer says he's humbled by the promotion, and in a way, he's coming full circle after getting a start in radio, working part-time for the station manager at KCOW and Alliance. He'll continue hosting the morning show on 94.1 The Brand and performing his weather-related duties for both the radio stations and here on KNB.TV. Well, straight ahead, we'll head on over and check on what's going on with Ag News. Shabella Guzman will have that right after this on KNB.TV News. Being an Allo customer just got even better. Three times better, in fact. We've tripled our standard internet speed from 100 to 300 megs at no additional cost to you. This isn't one of those limited time offers that will melt away either. Three times the streaming, three times the gaming, three times the uploading, all for the same price. Why? Because we love our customers. Allo, no gimmicks, no limits, no kidding, and still no contracts. Anyone who
who calls it a hobby doesn't understand. We know that a person's passion is what drives them. And that's why every memorial we create is a true reflection of the individual. Only a Dignity Memorial professional can celebrate a life like no other. Find out how at DignityNebraska.com. Western Hearing Clinic, the Panhandle's choice for better hearing, helping you hear what matters most. The Panhandle Cooperative Association held its annual meeting last night at the Gearing Civic Center. Charlie Wright, CEO and President of the Association, spoke about the past year for the cooperative. Fiscal year uh, was maybe a little bit of a disappointment. I think the ag economy in this area, uh, when you look at all our competitors, I think everybody was down and so uh, we followed suit there. The cooperative is looking to do something different, and Wright says they have already begun in some areas. Optimizing our unit train capacity in Alliance, Nebraska. We have the only unit train capacity for fertilizer in the panhandle of Nebraska or eastern Wyoming, and we've never really utilized that very well, so I think uh, that's certainly already helped us. It makes us much more efficient. Uh, we were able to take some early programs out to our customers and locked a lot of business up early this year. One of the areas in the cooperative that did have a good year was the energy division. Wright says another positive in the company is the youth they have employed. Well, we have several uh, young folks that are from the area. I think that's key for where we live. Uh, people that move here and they're young, they typically want to go back home. And so but we do have some really good guys, some young guys and gals and, uh, that we've got hired. And they're, they're really making some inroads for us. The Panhandle Cooperative Association Board of Directors also awarded Kim Pittman, scanning coordinator for Torrington Main Street Market, as the winner of the Roy Shelf Employee. Pittman received a check for 1000 and will receive an additional 1000 to be used for expenses for a trip. She also received a clock, and her picture will be displayed in the administrative office. With KNB.TV News, I'm Chabella Guzman. What are you waiting for? A six-year limited powertrain warranty? Savings on performance-matched implements? 0% APR financing for up to five years. Head down to your local Kubota dealer before September 30th and take advantage of this incredible offer on the BX Series, America's best-selling subcompact tractor. Kubota, this is what we do. Come into Sandberg Implement, your local Kubota dealer. Your local Kubota dealer is Sandberg Implement in Gehring. It's a friendly town, that's for sure. Not too big, not too small. Seems like everybody knows your name. We stick together through thick and thin. That's the way it's always been. Cause where we live is still our claim to fame. Well, let's take a look what's happening on today's community calendar.
That's a look at today's community calendar, brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. At Elite Physical Therapy, we provide preventative and rehabilitative treatments that maximize function and promote well-being for patients of all ages. With two locations in Scotts Bluff and Gearing, we offer the convenience of you choosing your location with the same great services no matter where you go. Stop into one of our locations today in Scotts Bluff at 214 West 27th Street or in Gearing at 10th and M Street and see what Elite Physical Therapy can do for you. Treatment you need and care you deserve. It is never too early to start planning for retirement, and working with an experienced financial advisor can put you on the right path. At Platte Valley Investment Center, our team of financial advisors will work with you every step of the way to maximize your retirement income. Call me, Jody Rosiska, or Rick Morehouse, financial advisors, to set up your free no-obligation consultation. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA SIPC. Life well planned. And finally tonight, a leader in the Scotch Bluff banking industry has been appointed to the board of directors of the Omaha branch of the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City. Platte Valley Company's Chief Operating Officer, Zach Karpf, says the Omaha branch will provide information to the Kansas City office with economic intelligence and insight to any economic conditions in our area. He says this allows him to be a voice for Western Nebraska by providing real-time economic data to the Fed. Uh, I, I would be uh, responsible for providing uh, input and, and thoughts on uh, the ag economy specifically and uh, probably also just a rural uh, perspective. Karp says he is the first member on the board of directors from the Panhandle in 15 years, the last being PVC president, Todd Kosman. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you here next time.